Hey everybody, welcome to another World of Tanks replay, once again in the Bromwell and once again on Corellia, but this time from the opposite side of the map. We tuned up with Serb in his KV-85 and Too Fast You Furious in the ARL-44. Pretty good platoon. Uh, the ARL is a real gem of a tank, although most people don't really appreciate it for that. Um, and the KV-85 is pretty solid itself. So we got a good platoon go. structure going here. Three good carry tanks. The zippy medium that can shift around the map in a hurry and slip around unspotted. And then two big guns. The ARL actually has deceptively good armor when it's uh, in a largely tier six game as well. There's only one tier eight on the enemy team. It's a T-34 and a handful of tier 7s, of which half are arty. So, as long as uh, those arty don't focus our platoon, we should be right. We managed to take the hill in a hurry, along with the T-20 and one of our light tanks, the Type 64, and immediately put some hurt on this Cromwell and the AMX 12T. Our Type 64 takes the brunt of the hits here. Which is just fine by me, I don't really care if we lose a light tank. But it buys us a chance to kill the enemy Cromwell. And this replay is really playing up, sorry about that. And uh, then I pop down and finish off the 12T as well. So we've traded one light tank for a medium and a light tank. Not bad. The enemy M6 ponders out in front of my gun. He's already on fire. Puts it out, but gets finished by two shots from me, with some more damage coming in from the rest of my team. We've got pretty firm control of the north end of the map there. As you can see, the enemy don't have anything up there. Uh, really, the only thing they've got that can do anything to our force in the north is this Churchill sitting in the middle of the map, getting killed. He's double tracked, he's missing all his hit points, he's turning his turret the complete wrong direction. That poor bastard. Down the southeast corner, where there's usually quite a strong force, the enemy have only sent a handful of tanks. 25 2 and an A44 are not going to be enough to hold up this push, especially since it's supported by my two platoon mates who are smart enough to actually push. Um, if that was left to our hubby teammates, they probably would have been held up for the next 10 minutes by two tanks. Chaffee goes down, and with that, the enemy are now out of eyes. It would seem pretty clear that the remaining tanks they have are all camped up around their spawn. Um, in fact, their top tier heavy, the T-34, never left their base, and nor did the Su-85. Now, in both cases, that's pretty unforgivable, but the Su-85 at least has the very flimsy excuse of being a bottom tier tank destroyer in a tier 8 match. In fact, he shouldn't even be in a tier 8 match. But some genius has platooned him in. The T-34, on the other hand, as you can see, has not taken a single point of damage. He's just been sitting here unspotted in A9 all game. While the SU-85 has been sitting unspotted in B0 all game. And they've done absolutely nothing to help their team. Up until this point, they haven't actually done any damage. Ready to fire. You can see the enemy Lorraine trying to shotgun himself there, but his Sudoku attempt fails miserably and doesn't even damage him. So unfortunately for him, I do actually get to scoop up the last kill. Destroyed. 1500 damage is not a huge match in a tier 6 medium, but it's certainly not a bad match either. It's about double my hit points. Um, so I'm certainly not going to complain about that. The early match went very well. Um, again, that trade one tier 6 light tank for a tier 6 light tank and a tier 6 medium. That was a very good trade. That's the kind of trade you want to make, not the opposite way around. And just the fact that the enemy didn't push out at all was probably what won us this match more than anything. Uh, had the enemy actually, you know, not been brain dead, basically... Um, they might have had a much better chance of winning this if they actually had some kind of substantial force on the corner at either 
G9 or F0, or even if they had had anything in the north at all, uh, they might, uh, might have been able to knock down some of our puppies and then deal with us afterwards. It's much, much harder for a tier 6 to carry a tier 8 match than, say, a tier 9 to carry a tier 10 match like you normally see me trying to do um, because I mostly play high tiers. The power gap between tier 6 and tier 8 is quite large. Um, in fact, the tier 8s have about double the hit points of their uh, tier 7 counterparts, at least as far as medium tanks go. The tier 8 heavies don't quite have such a dramatic increase in hit points, um, but they are pretty strong. Actually, actually no, they do, because I think the average tier 6 heavy only has about 800 and... 850, 900 hit points. So yeah, tier 8 heavies do actually have about double the hit points. Sorry, I was, uh... I was a bit confused. Uh, maths is difficult when you've been up all night. But anyway, it's a pretty quick match, pretty easy match. Again, this is a great demonstration of why you cannot seed the map to the enemy. You might think you're gonna make a awesome last dis uh, sorry last ditch defense in your base but it's not going to happen um, you have a much better chance of holding off an enemy attack with 15 tanks than you do of trying to hold them off with one full health tank at the end of the game they might even all be one shotable for you but unless you get very very lucky or they're even dumber than you you're not going to be able to clean up and I've seen people try it and every time it fails uh, with a few very notable exceptions which mostly came down to either enemy tanks getting themselves stuck on terrain uh, enemies being bots or just the enemy being profoundly profoundly retarded um, a good example of that being Fontaman or Goon165's video of the SU-100Y on cliffs where he power carried the shit out of his team because the enemy just fed him kills one at a time and the last enemies were bots. Those are the, the few situations where one tank can basically hold out against all comers and in that case he wasn't even uh, trying to hold out against all comers, he just happened to be stuck in that situation because in the 100Y you don't really have the mobility to do anything else. So um. You know, that, that was not an intentional thing, um, whereas this T-34 very clearly made the life decision to not leave Cap, or sorry, not leave Spawn, and he just didn't have a chance. Because especially on Corellia, there's that many approaches to your Cap that the enemy will just come up from every angle, and uh, you won't be able to do anything about it, as you saw with a Tier 8 Heavy melting so quickly to Tier 6s. Anyway... Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've maybe, um, maybe not learned something, but certainly been reminded of the importance of map control and not being a shitter. Anyway, I've still got plenty more videos to put up. I've got another enormous World of Tanks backlog because I can't help myself. Um, and then I've got a bunch of replays from other goons and some more World of Warships stuff. Not sure what order those are going to happen in. Oh, and some test server stuff too. So um, I've definitely got a full plate. There should be tons of stuff coming pretty quickly. So stay tuned. Till next time. I wish you the best of luck in the field. And I'll see you on the next one.